In this video, I'm going to get started with the product section of the admin area. And this is going to be a bit more involved than pages and categories. So anyway, first of all, I'm going to create that collection in my database here. So I'm going to call it products. Okay, and now I'm going to create a model. So I'm going to copy page.js, let's say. And call it product. So here I'm going to say product schema and just copy that product word and paste it here. So I'm going to have a title and a slug and a description desk like so. And let me just paste that product word here. Okay, so I can copy and paste this now. So I'm going to copy this desk and that's going to be category also of type string and require true is fine. And I'm going to have a price now, which is going to be a number. You can't have a decimal specified here. It has to be a number. And I'm also going to have an image, so I'm just going to copy this log actually. And say image here of type string, so this will contain just the image name. And I can say required true for the price. Does really make a difference is I'm validating that with Express Validator, but anyway. So, by the way, in case I haven't mentioned this before, if you didn't validate fields with Express Validator, let's say, and you had the required field here, such as a title, and if you don't have any title when you submit the form, it would just hang there. So, that wouldn't be a good user experience. But anyway, now I'm going to install a few additional plugins I'm going to be using. So here I'm going to stop the server and I'm going to say npm install dash dash save and I'm going to install express dash file upload and I'm also going to install fs dash extra. So there's this fs plugin that comes with node and this one expands it basically to add more functionality. And it's used as a replacement for DFS, so you don't need to include both FS and FS Extra. Just including FS Extra includes FS as well. And I'm also gonna get the MKDRP plugin. So I'm able to create directories. And I'm also gonna get resize-img plugin for image resizing. Okay, that should be it. Okay, so they seem to have been installed. So in app.js, I just need to include the file upload and add some middleware for that. And the other three don't require any setup. And I'm going to be using them inside the products route JS file. So here in app.js, I'm going to say here var file upload. And that's going to be equal to require express file upload. So this one. And I'm going to set up that middleware for that just let's say before this body parser. So I'm going to say here express file upload middleware. And I'm going to say here app.use and call the file upload function basically. And that should do it for uploading files. Now I should be able to upload files which actually means get the file type from the I mean get the file from the form input because body parser doesn't handle those types of fields and I also need to add that products route so I'm gonna copy this and say here admin underscore products and this is gonna say admin products as well and I'm going to copy this line. So this is going to be slash products and admin products here. 
and to create that route file finally I'm gonna copy the submin pages for example and call it admin underscore products let me just see here I'm including that okay it's all good so other than this express and router plugins I'm also gonna need the M MK DRP so require MK DRP and two more so I'm gonna need that FS which is actually FS extra and also resize image so this is I'm gonna say resize image and I'm gonna say here get product model and var product is gonna be equal to require models product okay and that's it for the setup and I'm gonna pick it up in the next video